In this video I'm going to show you how to create a custom export profile for Dataflow and it's going to allow me to have a profile ready every time for updating prices of my simple products. I'm going to start by going to System, Import Export, Dataflow Profiles and then I'm going to click Add New Profile. I'm going to call it Simple Product Price Update. Okay, so I'm dealing with products, I'm happy to keep it at that. And I want to export, not import products. And I want to only consider, uh, concern myself with the default values. Okay, I want to export it locally. I'm going to always call the, uh, the CSV simple product prices. I'm going to export it the same place via export that all our other exports go to. Okay, I want my file to be a CSV. I'm going to leave those as they are. And I want it to only export the SKU as always product name, the price, let's go for the special price as well. Okay, and I'm going to filter it by simple products. Okay, I'm happy with that. So if I save it, Uh, I just realised one thing I didn't do. I didn't put the CSV at the end of my file now. There we go. So that's now saved. We've got a new profile with ID7. Simple product price update. That's always there for us to use now. So I don't actually need to worry about changing my export or product profile. I can come and just do this one if I want to update my prices. If I click on it and then run the profile there you go, it's done 102 records which sounds about right I'm going to go to my export extension and there it is, simpleproductprices.csv again if you don't have this extension it will be in the VAR export folder on the Magento route Open this up. There you go. So it's got the SKU, the name, the price, and this is actually the special price column, which is blank for all these products. One thing I probably could have added on, if I go back to my profile, is the column header. So that's in this bit here. It says original Magento attribute names in the first row. I'm going to change that to yes and save my profile. And I'm going to run it again. Okay, that's done. If I open the file again. This time it's got my column headings in, which does make it a little bit easier to read. Probably should have done that the first time. But there you go, I've got a custom export profile now to use every time to quickly update my prices, and I can import this as usual.